So today we're going to be working on this Norway spruce. It was donated to the workshop early on in the year and it was filled with aphids and ants in the root ball. It had a full clean and then I put it in this training pot and we had a bit of a styling just to make it a look a little bit nicer. It has since fully recovered and today we're going to give it a further step in its development but first we need to remove some of this wire and decide what branches we're going to keep. Now all this wire has been on the majority of the year and the branches should be held in place but spruce trees have the reputation of the branches just springing back and sometimes they're on for a good couple of years until they hold. Now this tree is absolutely healthy, it's actually got buds growing on, on this branch here that I cut back all the foliage which I was later planning on being a gin. So let's get this wire off. So while we watch this sped up footage of me taking off the wire, there's a couple of people I need to give a shout out to. And we've got Andy from Bonsai Crazy and Dan from The Bonsai Project. They are absolute amazing guys. You should go check out their channels. And they should have their channels linked in the description if you want to go check them out. Now this branch here, um, it has been selected to be removed and we're just going to use a concave cutters and then a removed wire that was around it just so it's more clear so we can clean up the wound that we've just caused and just a quick spin around to see what we're left with to work on after removing a lot of wire this tree can go many ways Now this top section here is too straight for my liking. Um, we're going to try and bend it with this wire here and see if it does the job. And no, I think it's going to need some new wire on there. This wire is wire biting and we're just going to have a little snip at the top also. And we're also going to be using one of these side branches to be the new apex at the top. I'm not sure about this one. I'm probably going to swap it out for the next. And that's definitely looking a lot nicer. Now at this junction we have a couple of branches that are growing too close to each other. I'm going to choose this one here just to snip off. Either one would have worked fine. And just a closer look at this wire going at the top, um, it really is biting in, in less than a whole season. This tree has really bounced back to full health. So we're going to get this wire off. And as you can see, as the wire's coming off, there is some horrible wire bite. But I believe with this tree's rapid growth, it will heal in no time. And as I take this last piece off, I have noticed some lovely dormant buds there. That would hopefully grow in the new season and give us some extra branches to play with. But now it's clearer and we can get some copper wire on these two branches. That should hold these branches in place a lot more firmly. Now copper wire is a lot more tougher than the other wire that we like to use on this channel but today I feel a little bit different. And if you're wondering about that wound there, uh, don't worry, we're going to seal it up by the end of the video. And as you can see on this branch, it has given us a lot to play with. I may get some wire on these just to separate them. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. That may be something in the new year. And what we're doing here is just removing some of the needles on the branch as we don't want them to get in the way of wiring. Now 
and now it's just to remove the excess wire. And now we can gently give some shape to these branches and make it look more suitable for the tree design that I have. And you're probably wondering why have I chosen some bar branches on either side of the trunk to work with? Well, it's how I visioned it. And a lot of trees have bar branches. Just go out next time you're out of walk and look at the trees and see how many of them. Now some would argue that it's not quite suitable, you know, within the bonsai world. But I don't do things the way other people do. I do what appeals to me. And hopefully you guys will like it too. Now we're back on this branch and I ain't really contemplating on putting some wire on here but maybe we can sort them out without a wire. And I think it's just a case of untangling them. But there is a piece underneath that needs to come off. And that's looking a lot nicer. Managed to give some separation of the finer branches without the use of wire at the end. Now what are we going to do with this lower branch? It's just finding the right placement for it. And there, I think we have it. And now we just need to make some gin wood. And what I'm using here is the gin plies and it's just gently crushing the bark around the inner wood which will make it a lot easier to peel. You don't have to go too rough of these, um, it's a very simple job to do. And what I tend to do is just to give a little split in the wood as it gives a little bit more of a natural appearance of age and just snip it at the end. Now I won't be applying lime sulphur as I like these to season throughout the winter and then in a drier days they will cut. And I've just used the wire cutters that I've just picked up to Try and peel the bark on these and now that's pretty much cut through so we're just going to make a really tiny stump we're not going to remove it entirely but it just gives that a little bit more of a natural look probably a nice recovery i think and another quick spin around to see where we're at now but we still need to work on this top bit it's too straight and we need to give it a bit of a shape so we've got this lovely four mil thick wire. It's very strong and it should do the job absolutely lovely. Now you see me wire loads of times, but the wire's on and now we're just gonna give it a bit of a shape. Being really careful to not snap this top bit. So when I put the first wire on, um, 
the apex was growing at such an awkward angle and I was just trying to straighten it up and now it's all about just giving it a bit of shape and now some of these branches here are going to have to come off it's just all about choosing the right ones and that small bud there that we found earlier I've just absolutely obliterated it putting this wire on oh well so you are just going to have a quick spin around you know before the next stage but I'm kind of liking it so far so I went for a walk today and I saw a mountain of rubble and I knocked on the door to the owner and the face of confusion that he had is going to stick with me for a while but he let me take some and um, it is solid concrete I've cleaned it all up um, I even dropped it a few times to see if it would crumble and there's there's no there's no risk of that but it's absolutely solid and I think like it's a lovely shape now we're not going to be touching the roots on this tree today as there's no need for it but we are going to be getting it on top of this rock I have a few ideas on the planting angle but we're going to skip all that and we're just going to go for the one that I'll come up with and as you can see it sits on there quite high up I managed to put some wire through so the tree just doesn't easily slip off and it's on there absolutely solid and another quick spin around and now I have got a lot of sphagnum moss that will do the trick nice and this grows abundantly in my garden now my forgetful self forgot to press the record button halfway through putting this moss on but I, I did manage to get this footage here and it's literally just wedging it in and we are using wire clips um, it's just snipped up pieces of wire and bent into a U to hold it in the place so it doesn't fall out over the next couple of days I will be applying the mesh trick as the same on the top and all the moss will form into one and you won't be able to see the mesh at all and eventually um, because this rock isn't really looking natural this moss will cover the whole rock and it's pretty much more of an experiment but I feel like it's looking nice at the moment and the colour of it kind of matches the bark of the tree so here we are finished for now I look forward to updating on this tree further but if you enjoyed this video please comment, like and subscribe if not, no worries and I'll catch you in the next one